all very much. Um, so all right, so the public, it's publicnotice.ohio.gov. Um, are there any questions at this time? Would this apply to uh, state ballot issues as well? Yes, um, so this would apply to uh, any uh, political subdivisions, libraries, um, schools, and the state as well. We wouldn't say, you know, it, would, it applies all across the state of Ohio because we believe in all these decisions, uh, the voters will need that information. A lot of these constitutional amendments, I think like the Third Frontier, for example, exempt themselves from the state uh, debt limit. Does, does it get into that issue at all? How? Uh, this legislation does not get into the current uh, the debt limit at all, which I believe is like set at five percent. Um, the treasurer off can go into more detail on that, but um, yeah. So this does not at all address the debt limit itself. It just simply says that. Um, you know, any political subdivision, or even the state of Ohio, if we're going to go and put the, some before a question before the voters to increase our debt limit, uh, that they need to have this information to make an informed decision. So we we hear increasing complaints about the length of the ballot and the, the amount of time it takes to read it, and how confused people are by the language. Is this? Kind of muddy the waters more. I mean, instead of helping people understand it better. No, we definitely thought through that, and it's for that reason. Here's we have a sample ballot. Um, so on, I know you can't read it from there, but what you can see is the mud, how much writing there is. This is the current, uh, you know, the sam this current sample ballot. Basically, it says uh, you know tell who's issuing it, the principal amount of the period, and everything that I mentioned in there. And so in the proposed language, all that is still the same. The only new information is this little bit down here. So it's very simple. It's very easy to understand, but we believe it's critical information for the voters. So uh, no, we do not believe that the voters will be overwhelmed by this additional information. We believe it will help them make more informed decisions. And, and Treasurer, please come on over and, you know, Amy, you want to take a board? Go for it. Yeah. Okay. All right. uh, one thing I would add, if you look behind me, uh, you see legislators representing uh, different parts of the state. Uh, Representative uh, Watchman from Northwest Ohio, Representative Thompson from Southeast Ohio, uh, Representative from Lynch, uh, Lynch from Geauga County in Northeast Ohio, Representative Terrar from Southwest Ohio, and obviously Representative Rohner from Northeast Ohio. So not every part of the state, but uh, this representation of legislators behind me, I believe, is a solid representation geographically of the state. Uh, what's missing, though, uh, on the co-sponsor list uh, is uh, folks on the other side of the aisle. And uh, I'm hopeful that uh, over time we can reach out to Democrats as well because we think uh, this should be a bipartisan bill. When it comes to issues like government transparency, uh, this is not a Democratic or Republican issue. Uh, this is an issue about good government for taxpayers. And we're hopeful as this legislation moves through committees in the House and hopefully on the Senate that uh, folks on both sides of the aisle uh, will choose to uh, add their name uh, as co-sponsors because we think this is a great opportunity for Democrats and Republicans to work together to increase, increase transparency uh, for the state. Uh, I'd also add that uh, I think good government groups, both on the right and the left, uh, I think I would hope would be open to this, whether you look at a Buckeye Institute type group on the right or a Progress Ohio type group on the left. Uh, there's not too many initiatives where organizations like that can actually work together, um, but uh, this uh, might be one of those uh, where you can actually take groups from the right and the left because this is all about increasing uh, transparency for taxpayers and uh, that net, that's a, that's a good thing, and uh, we're hopeful that this can really uh, be one of those pieces of legislation that uh, puts aside the D and the R next to people's name and brings folks together in the spirit of uh, transparency. Do you think the effect would be making it more difficult for bond issues to pass on the ballot? I don't. I mean, I, uh, I, I think when you give citizens uh, the opportunity to have as much information as possible. Uh, it just means that they're uh, more equipped uh, and better informed when making that decision. So I don't think it'll have necessarily uh, positive or negative uh, impact. Uh, I think it will just have an informative impact and it'll uh, better equip uh, citizens with the information they need when they walk in the ballot box and close that curtain to make a long informed decision. Right, so the, the intent is to sort of I guess encourage uh, the reduction of uh, residents' debt load. Then, no, no. I mean, the the intention here is to make help Ohioans make better informed decisions. Because, I mean, so many of us have heard of like the national debt 
and, and it gives a lot of people great pause because you think, okay, you have 16, 17 trillion dollars, what does that mean per person for future generations? But, but how often do people stop and think, well, wait a minute, okay, that's a national debt, but what about state debt, local debt, you know, your school? I mean, what, it all piles on. And, and, you know, until I actually started getting into this, I didn't realize how much, you know, I hadn't really quite thought of it that way, but it's true, and we should. And and when we're making, when we go to the polls to make these decisions, just like when you go to buy a house or, or buy a car, you need to. There's a need, and that need might be is very real. Uh, but you have to weigh that off with, you know, what's this going to cost us, and you know, the interest rate and the overall picture going forward. So I think it'll help Ohioans make better informed decisions, and that's the spirit of it. Are there any other questions?